What is going on guys, Daylight is here back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing some maintenance on my car. A little maintenance on my car. Um, my shocks on my car, they're, they're butt, they suck now, they don't work. Actually, they never actually really worked since I got the car. I just <laughs> never replaced the shocks on them. So every time I hit a bump, you feel me, I hit another, a do, you feel me? Um, to try and change that. I finally got some shocks in the mail, um, so yeah, we're gonna go right now to um, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, whichever one, rent out a spring compressor because I do not have one and I'm not trying to kill myself doing this, so rent out a spring compressor, use that, compress the springs, take off the shock, put the new one on, bam, put it on. Cause my car is the ride on my car kind of sucks and uh, yeah and if you're wondering where I am I am NOT in my car <laughs> I'm actually in Paul's car I'm using this car to go to AutoZone cuz to be honest I do not feel like driving my car if I'm just gonna come back and work on it so I rather just let, let her you know chill out you know just let her, let her chill out, sit down for a little bit and while I go get the part I mean I go get the tool so I can do the work and just you know get this done huh kind of wish wish I had this in my car a nice little push to start button you feel me psych boy I'll not want one of these because if you lose this you're fuck boy <laughs> you can't even unlock your car without that that's crazy So, your boy just finished up in there, finished up with AutoZone. Um, heading back now to go do this right here. A little filmy. Let's take a look at what these look like actually. So, as you can see, this is what they look like. You know, you just put, they both go on one spring. You feel me? You put one this on one side of the spring, this on the other side, and you kind of like just turn it with the, with a the wrench or a ratchet. To um, compress it little by little, and then yeah, once it's compressed, take it off the the strut, or you know, let it help you take it off the strut, so it doesn't like you know just jump at you. You take it off, and you should be good to go. All right, so I'm back home. Damn, it's kind of dark. So I'm back home. I already have the car on jack stands. I already took off one of the wheels. I'm only doing the front suspension for now. Because I actually I have work today, so I won't be able to do the rears also. But I do have stress for all around the car, like all four. So these are the stress that I have. I got four of them. You know, they're just OEM replacement struts. Because mine are ass. They're trash right now. So I'm gonna replace the fronts because that's all the time I have to do. I will probably show the rears in a different video. Probably when I do my tie rod ends because I do have new tie rod ends as well. But um, yeah, so let's get this thing started, man. Let's get this thing started. All right, so first thing you want to do. All right, so you have this little, well, I already took it off, but this was like over here with that little, that little uh, nut there. I unscrewed with a screwdriver, bam, took that off. I only put it back so I can remember it was there. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then this whole like little um, tray or whatever. This whole thing kind of comes off, so you can take that off, and you loosen all these three, these three nuts uh, with a 12 millimeter socket, and that's what's um, holding your strut in place. So just loosen it, but now you know don't take it all the way off because you don't want it to just fall. You want it to just kind of hang there for a little bit until you get everything on the bottom situated. All right, so now you see that bolt right there, right in the middle of your screen. There's two. There's one there. And on the other side, right there, you undo those two bolts. 
that's for your ride height sensor you gotta kind of move that out the way because it's right behind it and you wouldn't want your um, shock or strut to hit it when you're taking it out so this is your ride height sensor you just unscrew those two bolts right there you need to take that out all right so once you got the bolts removed you just kind of and um, both out you push it over to the side so it's not in the way of the um, strut here and also there was a bolt a nut I had to remove right here in the middle because it was connected to that part down here so you remove that so you can take it off of this and then you can do the two 10 millimeter 10 millimeters yeah all these were 10 millimeters and now what you want to do is what you need is a allen key and a 14 millimeter wrench right here. If you, this is for the focus. All right, so right here, you need a, a five millimeter Allen key and a 14 millimeter wrench to take this off because you have to put the Allen key in the middle of that hole to hold it in place and use the wrench to actually turn it off. You might need to use um, WD-40 or PB blaster to get it off, but I I think that should be good. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. Like right in the middle is like a little bolt right there. It's at the at the bottom of the strut. It's a, it's a 17, I believe. Yeah, it's a 17. You want to get a 17 millimeter socket and a wrench because you have to put a wrench on the other side. If I can get the light, you gotta get the 17 right there. Put it on that. Put the wrench on that side. Go to the other side. Put a socket over here so you can loosen it. I don't know if you can tell, it's that bolt right there, like right behind the sway bar end link, like right there, right in the middle of the screen. See how I loosen that? Alright, so I actually got a little frustrated with uh, one bolt. It's um, it's right behind the strut. I don't know if you can see the little the hole. It's like, dang, uh, right there. Alright, you see that hole right there? I took it out. It was a 12. It was really difficult to get out. It's this bolt right here and um, I was doing everything I could I got WD-40 and all that stuff ultimately what I had to do was I had to use my bolt where is it a bolt extractor on a universal joint so you should really invest in one of those a universal joint because you, you will need that for to get that one bolt out and then um, yeah so after that I just kind of went ahead and took out other bolts one other thing you need to take out is right here this is the sway bar end link the bottom portion the bolt is on this side as you can see I took out my sway bar end link where is it right over here so it's not there anymore all right so after that you gotta take off the spindle or this little piece that's under the strut like that whole little support that like triangular support piece under the strut you take that out and that will give you enough room to take out the entire entire thing all right so this is the entire strut or coil shock assembly whatever you want to call it basically I just need to put the um, spring compressors to compress the spring so I could take off this top piece and allow the shock to come out put the new one in tighten the bolt back up and then release the release the um the tension off the spring and that's basically it that's how you replace it and then you just do the reverse of everything i showed you put it back together and that's basically how it how you do it so i'm gonna do all that right now uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to use the um spring compressor and after that i'm gonna put everything back together and then show you uh, how the car is like when I finish all right so here is the same coil but now I have these spring compressors on both sides you they always come with a pack of two and what you want to do is you want them to be like on opposite sides of each other right and then you want to get the spring compressor and uh, t basically tighten down like this part and this part onto the spring using this you get like a socket a ratchet with a socket that fits over it and you tighten it tighten it tighten it, tighten it until the spring is compressed enough for you to do whatever you need to do a lot of people like to use um instead of using the ratchet because it's you know it's pretty slow using the ratchet 
people like to use um, their air tools, but you know, use that with caution or use that with your own. Use that at your own risk. You're not supposed to use them that way, but it is quicker. I personally, I just use a, a ratchet and a socket, even though it's a bit slower. But it still gets the job done. Just depends how fast I want to get it done. And yeah, so that's basically how it works. So just tighten it here a little bit. Tighten it on the other side a little bit. You know, try and do it as evenly as possible from side to side. That's how you compress it. All right, guys. So it is uh, day two, uh, second day at doing this because um, I had to go to work. I only was able to do the driver's side. Uh, only but that was the side that was giving me the most problems when it came to that uh, I actually want to show you guys what it looks like it, it it's so it's bad it was I basically just might as well just have never even considered that being a shock because I was basically driving with no shocks or at least on that one side so I'm gonna show you right here like here's a new one all right I'll show you this. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna compress it. It's gonna take a little bit, not all the way, but I'm gonna compress it on the wall here. This thing tough. All right, and now you see, it's going back up slowly, but on its own. You know that's normal. It's supposed to go back up on its own, right? Now the other one, which is outside, that one, boy, it's compressed already, and that thing doesn't budge it does not go back up so that's what I was rocking with for a little bit yeah boy I was playing myself hard on these uh, so yeah that's that's basically what I've been rolling with since I got the car I never really changed them because I always thought oh I'm gonna just get some coil overs it's gonna be a breeze I'm gonna just get some coils and it'll be all fixed Nope, that did not happen because you know I got other stuff to pay, college student, work, bills, you know, all that boring stuff. So I did not have the money to buy them and I was tired of riding with this some terrible with a terrible suspension setup. It sucked, it was torture, and I, I just couldn't have it anymore. So I'm just changing them out and I can see why I was torturing myself with these. So yeah, I'm gonna, I already showed basically how to do one side, it's just gonna be boring to explain it all over again and show you guys, so I'll get back to you guys when I finish. Alright, so a couple impossible hours later, I finally finished, I was able to get the new strut, I mean, new shock on, um, I'm actually gonna show you what both of them look like, they're, they're both pretty similar in what they do, they <laughs> They don't absorb anything. They're not really shock absorbers anymore. Bit. So, as you can see here, both of them here, shock absorbers, that is supposed to come up by itself. Right there. That's supposed to come up. Because when, when, uh, when you hit a bump, it's supposed to depress and then come back up for the next one. But these, they never came back up. So, that's basically what I've been rocking with for a long time. So I'm pretty glad I just took it around for a little test drive. It feels really nice, nice and smooth. You know, I, I intentionally went over like small bumps just to see um, like how it would feel. And it feels pretty good. Like it's tons better. Like I can't explain like how like it's nice, smooth and crisp they feel. But yeah, it feels pretty nice. Plus it raised the car just a little bit since the the shocks they weren't really like pushing up. It raised it just a little bit and I got like a like a little bigger wheel gap. But yeah. That's basically it. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end the video right here. I will catch you guys in the next video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. You know, just hit that like button for your boy. If you like what you saw just subscribe um, I try and post as much as I can I got a new camera so the quality is a lot better now than what my videos used to be but yeah so if you like what you saw like I said like the video subscribe to my channel go on my uh, Instagram to see updates and pictures that I post on my car I try to do it daily you can follow me on Instagram at Dan underscore Lex or at Dan Lex on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm out.